Hey best friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sparkle and today in this new video, I'll be going over my current favorite skincare products. So if you have sensitive skin or you have uh, eczema, like me, I have both sensitive skin, have dry skin and have eczema. So lucky me, um, you definitely wanna stay tuned for this video. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my favorite body wash. So this is Dove, the Dove body wash for sensitive skin. Um, it's hyperallergenic, it uh, gen gently cleanses and nourishes uh, the skin. So this is an, an oldie but goodie. I love this body wash. It feels like a very creamy lotion, you know, while you're applying it on your skin in the shower. Um, it does have a light scent to it, but it's a refreshing, a refreshing scent, which is what I like. Cause you know, with a lot of um, uh, skincare products for sensitive skin, a lot of them obviously don't have fragrance in it because a lot of fragrances um, irritate our skin. But um, for this one, um, luckily, you know, this is hyperallergenic, um, but it does have a fragrance to it. But for me, it doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't bother me. Um, so, but I'm pretty sure they have a fragrance, a fragrance free one. Um, but, but yeah, so this is definitely one of my favorites and, you know, you can probably pick this up, uh, at Target. Um, it's also, um, uh, cruelty free. So a lot of the products that um, I use, I make sure um, it has that cruelty free uh, logo in it. So yes. Um, next is the Alafia uh, Authentic African Black Soap. This is one of my favorite brands. I also use um, their shea butter as well. Um, but I ordered this from from Amazon because I just love love body washes so I'm glad that this comes in a body wash form instead of the bar so um, it's unrefined shea butter butter um, it's an all-in-one um, product you can use on your it's a body wash facial cleanser shampoo hand soap um, and you can also use it for shaving so this is the unscented one um, they have um, other scents as well, they have like lavender, um, I think they have like tea tree, um, and um, they have like other ones too. But yes, this is definitely one of my favorite um, body washes that I like to use. Um, it can be a little bit drying, so that's why it's important to um, make sure you put on uh, cream or lotion right after you come out of the shower. So that is a great segue to my favorite um, lotions and creams that I'm currently using. So this is the Avalon Organics Therapy Body Cream. So this is 1.5% colloidal oatmeal um, and it's accepted by the National Eczema Association. Yeah, so I found this on, um, I think it's on Vitacost, and they have it at Whole Foods. So most of my shopping comes from Whole Foods and, um, and Vitacost and BJ's. So definitely you can um, get this at Whole Foods, but if you don't like to go out shopping you can definitely order this online so um, it's a very thick creamy body cream as you can see I'm almost done I got to get myself another another jar so it's very um, it's very thick without being uh, too heavy so this is my lotion that I generally use um, especially you know in the summertime I don't like to use like heavy butters or creams during during the summer because it's just 
like way way too heavy so this this is a good um a good balance um if you're looking for a heavy cream but yet not too heavy at the same time uh next is the um the ancient this is by uh ancient cosmetics i don't know if this is uh an instagram uh brand that i found um, and it's for dry skin it's the double butter so it's cocoa butter and shea moist uh shea butter so I just love, um, oh, and also has uh, coconut oil. So it has uh, three three ingredients. I love how um, natural this is, only three ingredi ingredients. And um, I'm like halfway halfway through the, through the uh, jar. Um, it's whipped, so it's easier to, uh, it's easier to apply. It's not hard. So as you can see here, I don't know if you guys can see, um, it's definitely easier. The application is very easy and it's easy to spread. So in the winter time, I use um, butters, heavy butters and, and creams because my skin is very dry and I need something to to make sure my skin is nice and supple and moisturize so this i definitely use every winter um my sister she also has very dry skin and she has um eczema and she ran she ran through through this through his through his jar so and i gotta order her some more um hopefully ancient cosmetics because when i recently looked um i guess they're updating their website so i wasn't able to order a new jar for her so hopefully they're up and running soon because we need some more of this. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my, my, fa my favorite products. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, as far as facial moisturizers, this one I got from Sephora. I don't know if you guys can see. It's by Pharmacy. It's the Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen. So I wear sunscreen on my face year round, even though even this winter time, because you still can, um, you know, the sun's rays is even if it's lower, that means there's more direct UV, UV rays um, affecting your skin. So you definitely want to use sunscreen year round. Um, so this is the broad spectrum um, SPF 30. Um, I think this is one of their clean products on on Sephora, but um, this is this is the one point seven ounces. So even if it's it's a little bottle, a little bit goes a long way. Um, yeah, with that, this is. The Biosense, um, this is the Biosense Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is also from Sephora. This is one of my favorite oils. Um, I've been using the Biosense uh, oil for, I would say two years now, and I've definitely noticed a difference um, in my skin. Um, I use this on my face. So this is a really cute pink bottle. Um, yeah, so I've been using this for about two years now and my skin is definitely brighter and smoother after using um, this product. So I generally put a couple of drops of this oil with my facial moisturizer. Again, for me, using both probably for some people if you have like oily skin oily skin it might be too much but for me since i have dry skin my skin soaks up everything so this works fine for me so um i just put a couple of drops in with the um with the um facial moisturizer and just mix it up and put in my skin and going on about my day 
But yes, these are my two favorite um, facial moisturizers I'm currently using. And then now we're on to, this is uh, Avalon Organics again. I like, I love this brand. Avalon Organics Therapy. This is also the 1.5% colloidal oatmeal. Um, this is the Eczema Relief Intensive Cream. So I just bought, this is um, uh, similar to the, the body cream. It's the same thing. But um, I just bought this so I can just throw it in my, throw it in my purse because, you know, People with dry skin, eczema, you know, you always got um, a bottle of cream in your purse or in your bag. So um, I'm always traveling with, with a moisturizer because my hands, oh, especially in the winter time, oh, forget it. But yes, this is a nice, thick um, cream. As you can see here, it's very thick, which I love. And it's good. Love thick, um, love thick creams. Yeah, so you can also get this on um, online or you can pick this up at Whole Foods. And then lastly, um, this is, this is um, a brand that I got online. It's called Glad Skin. Um, this is specifically an eczema cream. So if you don't want to use ster steroid creams, this is a great um, alternative to that. So this is, I found this is probably one of the best um, steroid free uh, eczema creams that I've used and it actually works. So I mostly use this on my hands because that's where my um, flare-ups have been um i would say in the past five six years most of my flares have been on my hands so this is the only like i said again like the only um steroid free steroid free cream that works for me so let me just put a little bit on my hand um as you can see uh So it's not too thick, not too thin, it's just right. So if you're having a flare-up, I always get flare-ups on my hands. Um, I'll just use use this. So once the flare-up starts, or you can just use this as a um, as one of your daily moisturizers to prevent um, to prevent flare-ups. So this has no fragrance, no parabens, no preservatives, no steroids no drying alcohols and no sulfates so this is a micro balance that's their trademark is a micro balance so um it's a smart protein that rebalances the natural skin uh, microbiome as it moist moisturizes so the theory is that um one of the theories is that eczema is triggered by an imbalance of the microbes of your hands. So once those uh, microorganisms go out of whack, then they trigger um, the flare-ups. So this is supposed to be um, supposed to balance balance that that that's supposed to balance um, those microbiomes out to prevent the triggers. So for me personally, it worked wonders on my skin. Um, because I really don't like to use steroids unless I really have to and I have a really bad flare up. And then if I use the steroid cream, I only use it for a couple of days. Once the flare up comes down, then I'll switch back to my um, natural, um, uh, my steroid free uh, products. Um, I got my sister this as well. She has eczema and she said it works for her as well. So I'm trying to, to wean her off of the steroids and to switch her over to um, steroid free products. But definitely I recommend this. Um, you can only get it, I think this is a European um, product and they now have it in the US. So you can only get this online. 
Um, they have a smaller, a smaller version to this size. So this is the 3.4 ounces and they do have a smaller one for a cheaper price. So if you have the extra coins, definitely invest in this. Well, so that is it. Um, so that's probably just part one of my favorite um, skincare uh, line. You know, you know how people with eczema are. We have like, we try out all these different um, products. So I'll probably do a, a part two um, to my favorites, but that is all I have today. So if you have any favorite skincare products that you love, and especially if you have sensitive or if you have um, eczema um, and you have some products that you love to use, just put those um, in the comments. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell and we will see you in the next one. Bye.